Now, let's learn how to build. Right click an empty section of the ground and hit create. This will bring up the build menu. You can also bring up this menu by hitting the build button down at the bottom of your screen. This is your first time building. Your build window, your build window will probably look small, like this. In the lower right is a button marked More. Click this to expand your build window to show all the options. It looks confusing with all the tabs and options and different things you can click. Don't worry, we'll get to those later. In the build window, you have two rows of options. Each of these is called a prim, and these are the basic building blocks of Second Life. All objects are just a collection of prims that have been textured and put together to create them. Click on the first icon in the first row. This is the cube. The icon will highlight yellow to show that you've selected it. Now click a spot on the ground to res or create the object. And this is your new cube. The edges are highlighted yellow to show you what's selected. You can see three arrows in the middle of the cube. These are the movement axis. You can move your mouse over the arrows and they will highlight and grow a bit larger. When one is highlighted and you left click the mouse and drag, it will move along that, ac that axis. Red is the x-axis. Green is the y-axis. And blue is the z-axis. You will also see three cubes, uh, three triangles around the cube. These let you move the move it along two axes on a grid. Remember, it'll be locked to a grid for now. If you hold down the control key, three rings will appear around the box. These are called the rotation rings. Just like the movement axis, you can move your mouse over one to highlight it, and then click and drag to rotate around that axis. If you hold Control and Shift at the same time, a bunch of colored boxes will appear. These are, adjust the, these are to adjust the scale of the cube. You can highlight and click the gray. You can highlight and drag the gray boxes to scale it uniformly, or you can click and drag one of the colored boxes to scale it along that axis. These simple controls allow you to quickly build, move, and rotate prims to your liking with a few simple keystrokes, instead of selecting the tools from the menu up here each time you want to do something.